crazy right now. Bo just called me and we've got a little trouble in paradise. So one of my brother's llamas had its baby and uh, she is freezing basically. So Bo's got her in the bathtub. He called me and said, I need a second pair of hands. My brother and his wife are at church and they can't leave. They've got some responsibilities to take care of. So Bo and I are on it. And because she's so cold, or he, I actually didn't ask if the baby's a boy or a girl, but because the baby is so cold, it hasn't had any milk, I imagine, and if it did have any milk, it probably just went straight through, straight through, didn't do any good. So I've got some goat colostrum here from Bo's sister, Megan. She saved some for me, and uh, I'm gonna take that with us. We'll get a little bit in her, just to make sure that she's got those antibodies in case uh, mom isn't a good nurser, milker, producer, whatever you call that. It's a first time mom. Her name is Honey. This is her first baby. baby. So her milk probably isn't in any ways. And so with a baby that's critical like this, that's been in the wind and the hail, it's been hailing today. And it's snowing and windy and rainy and nasty. So we're gonna do everything that we can to get the baby through. Um, Bo and Wade and I are just packed up here. We're gonna get over there as quick as we can. Not wanting to go where you want her to go? Come on, sweetie. Keep going, sweetie. Good girl. There you go. inside and go see the baby. I think he's in the bathtub. Or she. It's in the bathtub. Okay, you ready? Yep. We left you amazed to get through here, though. So the baby seems to be all warm and ready to go now, so Lindsay's gonna bring out the baby. I think it's a boy. And we just got the mom in the barn. She wasn't pleased to come up. When Kirsten started to help me, she spit all over me. Because she didn't want to be pushed. <laughs> Don't push me! <laughs> so, I didn't communicate that to Kirsten. Uh, I was just a little bit stressed out right now, really. But, uh, yeah. So, Kirsten, will you help the baby yep. get in here? I'll go over and get some chores done. I will. So Josh and Lindsay's poor bathtub is our baby warm-up station when we are not quite prepared. Most of the time we have a tote in the back here that we fill up with hot water and it's a little easier to keep the baby from slipping around in there. Hi! Hi. It is not every day you get to have a baby llama in your bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> was it directly? Dire oh, oh yeah, there's there a tote. Well, no, there's a tote in it. But there's, you there's know, There's still llama everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy! A boy! <laughs> How much do you think he weighs? It, I'd be surprised if it's 20 pounds. Huh. I guess we'll go out and check. Honey's having a living heart attack in the barn. Oh, I'm sure. Um, she spit all over Bo because I had nice her a little bit on accident. Oops, mm. my bad. I guess, sorry. I don't... No, it's fine. <laughs> see if we can squeeze in there. Oh, yay. I put it together right so we can just sneak it. Let's weigh him real quick. Onto the scale with you, baby. Uh, Did he try standing up in the bathtub? No. We'll just you don't really have a ton of it. Uh, we have trouble here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's not plugged in. Right. What? Something is wrong here. Should we get a bathroom scale instead? Uh, is it connected underneath? The scale was was off. We'll put the weight on there so and see. He but could be 19 point. Let's just go with what the what the scale says if it's reading low. Oh, but I like that. I brought oh, some. I, like that. I brought some goat colostrum. Okay. Um, so now that he's warm, maybe we should go and thaw some of that out.
just hanging out next to the tub. Run some joy, like, oh, this feels so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, quit moving me, I'm happy. What do you think, Wade? That's what you I think. Know. That's I I I agree. Good job, buddy. Should you put your coat on? Keep the top work. Or maybe we can use an old gown. <laughs> Seriously. Good job, buddy. We can name you Donner. That sounds like a good one. But then that makes me think you should have a twin named Blitzen. Donner <laughs> Blitzen. Yeah. <laughs> you can do all the reindeer. <laughs> We'll have enough this year, we can probably get through all of them. Were they all boys, all those names? But the reindeer all have antlers, and I don't know, do girl reindeer have antlers? Mm. I have never thought about that. That before. could be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, goats all have horns, right? Like so antlers, deer. are antlers gender specific and horns are unisex? Yeah. But reindeer oh. don't have horns. I guess that, that doesn't need to turn reindeer. Do reindeer things fall antlers. off? They're yeah. an antler? I think so. So that's what I'm saying. Are they gender specific antlers? Do female reindeer have antlers? This is important to life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very. I feel like we're about to be schooled here. In most well-known bovines and cervids, only the males grow horns or antlers, but there are a few species where the females do as well. Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> We already knew that. That's what we just decided. Hey, this mat is warm for you. Okay, maybe if we do 11 things you might want to know about reindeer, that will help us. Reindeer and caribou are the same thing. Didn't know that. Did not know that. <laughs> it's not easy to tell the sex of a reindeer. Maybe this is the one we read. <laughs> In most deer species, only the male grow antlers, but that's not true for most reindeer. Although the females in certain populations do not have antlers, many do. During certain times of the year, you can still tell the sex of a reindeer by checking for antlers. That's because males lose their antlers in winter or spring, but females shed theirs in the summer. So male and female reindeer both have antlers. I'm so relieved. <laughs> we thought it'd be nice to run over to McDonald's, get Josh and Lindsay some food. They're really working hard on trying to keep that little squirrel alive. It's looking a little bit, uh, Grim would be the word. So, thought it would be nice yep. to go get some good food. And uh, Wade's gonna have a fry back here. How's your fry, buddy? It's good. Mmm, fries. <laughs> so, we'll just head back over now. There's not much more we can do, Bo and I, so we'll probably leave, take off, drop off some food, and leave. So, that's what we're doing now. <laughs>